guys, if HDTV here, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a question one of my viewers asked me, and that was if the 2008 iMac is worth it for an average consumer. Now, these are the specs of my computer I currently have, and first of all, it has 4 gigabytes of RAM inside it. Which, that's good for video editing. I upgraded it from 2 um, gigabytes to 4 gigabytes. And I guess that is the max that the 2008, unfortunately, takes. Now, this works. It works good for my needs. It has a Core 2 Duo in it, which that's the processor. And that's basically what I call a Core i2. Intel Core i2. That's basically a step down from an Intel Core i3. So nothing really that special, um, it's a little slow when rendering videos or playing back videos, but it works just fine for my needs. Um, now I don't edit anything crazy like 4K footage or 2K footage or even, I think there's now 8K footage, I do not know. But I don't edit anything crazy like that, so I edit 1080p 60i, and that works just fine for me. You know if I didn't edit? 720p or 1080p and i edited 40 480p then my name would not be fhd tv it'd be f480 p tv no no so i have boot camp running on this which makes it if you don't know what boot camp is, it basically enables me to run Windows on one side and Mac on another side. So basically two computers in one. Now, um, it works good for this, but takes a little bit to restart in between versus my... I almost spilled my root beer. Versus my 2010 MacBook Pro. That one switches like that in between Windows 8 and Mac OS X Yosemite. But versus this one has a Core 2 Duo, which is a Intel Core i2, basically. That one has an Intel Core i7 and 8 gigs of RAM. So that's pretty crazy. And the reason why I don't use this as my main computer, though, is the um, iMac has more advantages. It has a larger screen, and I don't have a Thunderbolt adapter to make that, and I prefer two screens. So might as well just use the iMac. So now, overall, I think this is worth it for an average, everyday consumer because it handles my video editing just fine, so it has to handle web browsing and mail checking and all that stuff perfectly and smooth. And for me, that's the case. It works great with sending emails, writing documents. I have Microsoft Word on there. It even works if you want to put Boot Camp on it to run some Windows programs, like let's say you wanted to run Vegas. It works just fine on the iMac. And that's actually what I edit all my videos on. But it's also a very, very good price now. Now that it's from 2008, it still supports OS X Yosemite and the new OS X L Captain, or Capitan, I don't know. And the cheapest I found comes in at around $400. So that's a really good price for an iMac like that. So I recommend, if you're just an average consumer, everyday person working emails and stuff, I very much recommend that computer. But if you're some kind of serious video ripper, editor, dude, <laughs> then I recommend you get maybe either a powerful Windows machine, or if you're all about Mac and super, super, super wanting to spend lots of money, I would go with a Mac Pro or even the older um, versions of the Mac Pro, which people call the cheese grinder and the trash can, which is really funny because it's true. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember, send in the setups. I'm still accepting um, setup entries. I've already got six setup entries. So thank you guys for those. Um, this video is doing well so far. Thank you for all the subscribers, likes, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you.